Hello and welcome back to Barclay, the Merrodale murder by Big B Plays. Alright. I say we finish this. We're gonna finish this right here. We're going to accuse him, son of a bitch. Wait, what? Oh, come on. The last... Do what? Sword of the murder weapon. But I talked to you. Uh, yeah, that happened last time. So now we leave. And... Uh, fuck off. So I have to talk to somebody about the gun. Nope. I don't know who to talk to about the gun. Because... Uh, that's not it. It's gotta be, it, it's somebody. It's the wife, I know that for sure. Alright. We, we, already, we already did all this. So, yeah, the cook. Fuck it. We're gonna go through every one of these. Because... Why, why is the back button... Why is the actual back button in the game it just ask the second question? Like, this is supposed to be cancelled. Like, they didn't properly make the game, but at the same time, it's like, hey, whatever. <sighs> Do I have to relook? Because when I asked. Because when I asked about. The. Uh, the wedding ring on the side. Because when I asked about the wedding ring on the side, that kind of just went away. And I don't... Uh, uh, fucking mashing. I'm gonna go with Luke. Where were you? Alright. Your relationship with your father, like. Note was added. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. My hands are in my face right now. I never asked. I guess I never asked about uh, his relationship with his father. Even though I clearly asked that. The game decided it wasn't. I think it was asked. Once go on this point, there is no turning back. Do you wish to proceed and make the exit? Proceed. Inspector, I've talked to every suspect and I came to the conclusion of this murder. Let's go into the living room so I can declare the murderer in front of everyone. Alright. In my mind, it's between two people. It's between Annabeth and Mr. Yang. Can I have everybody's attention? As you know, this night was a tragic one. We witnessed the death of William Merrodale. Since I was fortunate enough to be the highest ranking official here, I have decided to conduct an investigation. The evidence was still fresh from, and the murder can only be someone from this house. After a lot of research, I have decided that the murder can only be... The butler, Mr. Yang. 
Me? Why would you think that, Detective? Everything pointed to you. You were the one who discovered the body. For a while you said that you were with the cook in the kitchen. The cook is too drunk to confirm that. And that offer which your former employer gave you as Sam was with you during the time of the murder, I'm afraid that we are going to arrest you too. You'll be trialed. You'll be trialed at the court back at our department. I consider this case closed. I think I fucked up. Yang and Sam were saw at the department and the sheriff's reviewed the verdict. After a lot of questioning, Sam was eventually set free, but Yang was imprisoned. The evidence found that at Meridale's house was too strong and the sheriff was convinced that he is the murderer. After being set free once again, be Sam once again became a street beggar. Well, Yang sent the rest of his days in the prison. You were never sure if you got this one right, but nevertheless, the case has been closed. On the night of the murder. I think... I think we had enough of this. Yeah, enough. Let me put you to bed. Let me put you to bed, my friend. Shit! What was that? I better check this out. Not guilty. Oh, shit, dude. Then I was right. Alright. Alright, I need to speak to Luke. Uh, what was your relation? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. So it, it cleared that one when I asked it. I'm ready for my accusation. Alright. As you all know, there's a track where maybe reporting in the evidence part of that. There are a lot of people who want to be Annabeth Meridale. Me? But I never, but I would never do such a thing. I'm sorry, but I firmly believe that you are the one responsible. When I asked about your relationship with your husband, you said that everything was fine. But when I asked you about his ring found in the room, you admitted that you weren't sure if your husband stayed faithful when you when he would take his ring off. You also had no alibi for your location besides checking on your children, but that happened after the gun was fired. And the gun of your daughter in the room of your daughter was pretty close to the crime scene. I believe that you sneaked you sneaked during the night into your husband's workplace and shot him cold. Shot him in cold blood because you could not live with the thought of him cheating. After the murder, you quickly disposed of the murder weapon and ran, run up to your daughter's room. Then you pretend to not know what's happening. And that is why we are going to take you in custody, Mr. Meridale. What? You're taking me? You're making a big mistake. The murderer is still here. My mother would never do that. This can't be right. I'll take care of us, my dear sister. I promise it to you. I'm afraid that we are going to arrest you. You will be trialed in court back of the department. I consider this case closed. Shit. Annabeth Meridale was brought back to the at the department, and the sheriff reviewed your verdict. After a lot of questioning, the sheriff couldn't agree with you, stating that a woman like Annabelle would never be capable of murder. There was some evidence of jealousy, but it isn't strong enough to imprison her. Anna was eventually set free, and she returned home to her family. A few months later, Mr. Meridale, the Meridales would move away from their current house, as the stench of blood was all over the place. You were never sure of the sheriff's decision. But all in all, the case remained unsolved. It had to have been her. Like, like I swear to God, it had to have been her. There's nobody else. Because both children have a good alibi. Hmm. What am I going to do this evening? William has once again said that he needs to work. Hmm. Shall I continue to read this book? What was that? Oh lord, this sounded like it came from inside the house. I better go see for myself. Son of a bitch. Apparently you accused an innocent, innocent soul. Not guilty. God damn it. So then it's the son, obviously. It has to be the son. Because he did go... Alright, I'm saving here in just in case I'm wrong. Yeah. It, even as cliched as it sounds, 
I believe it was stun. Can I have everyone's attention? Can I have everyone's attention? Alright. After locks, Luke Meridale. And how did you come to this conclusion? Well, young Luke, you played the loving son all day, but the evidence doesn't say so. Your father taught you everything you knew, and you absorbed every piece of, his u of useful information. You became a very ambitious man. But unfortunately, this ambition was your downfall. You worked very hard to make profits for your father's business. But instead of rewarding you with those profits, your father decided to donate them to the poor. And for it, an ambitious man such as yourself, that was enough to pull the trigger. That's why I think that you came to talk with your father one last time to give him one last chance. But what concrete proof do you have? Well, during dinner, you refused to drink whiskey, saying that despite it. But at the crime scene, only one cup was filled with with it while the other was empty, as if someone refused to drink it. Oh shit, I forgot that. It's been it's been a week since I last played it. Since It's been a while since I first played the one. You're the only one in the house who would refuse it. I am afraid that we are going to arrest you. You'll be trialed at the at court back at your apartment. Mm -hmm. I consider this case closed. Luke Meridale was brought back at the department and the sheriff reviewed the verdict. After a lot of questioning, the sheriff imprisoned Luke with the utmost certainty, saying that you couldn't have done a better job. The evidence was strong, and after the sheriff recognized great ambition in Luke, he knew that Luke was the murderer. Luke would spend the rest of his days in prison, even admitting that he killed his father. You were sure that you got this one right. But nevertheless, the case has been solved. How cliche on the night of the murder. Luke, I already told you that money is going to the poor. Why do you keep bugging me over this matter? Father, I worked very hard to earn this money. How can you just give it away like that? Because we already live in a very good life. Those earnings won't change anything except make you even more greedy. And I am afraid you forced me to do this, Father. Do what? Luke, what are you doing? Gave me no choice, Father. Now I should dispose of this pistol and prepare whatever that detective is going to do. Congratulations. You have completed the Meridale murder mystery. Awesome. Well, that was pretty fun, even though it was grammatically terrible and just ruined everything about me. But all in all, I do have to say that I did, have a, did actually have a good fun time playing that game. I wish it was a little better and, you know, cleaned up a little bit properly, but all in all, I liked it. It's pretty fun. If you guys liked it, leave a like. Check out the game if you want. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.